Hello, this is Tiny Death Star. Or, er, Tiny Star Wars Paladin. Playing Tiny Death Star. And let's see what's going on. Looks like we got a new apartment. Gotta get some people in that apartment. Looks like everything's got stock in. Or is out of stock. Gonna be going back to normal where we play in 15 minute chunks. See how far we can get. Probably just gonna play one game in the evening. And I'll only play more than that if there's some kind of event going on. Or if we need to do some strategy based stuff then we'll play a little bit more than 15 minutes mm. there should be room for all of it though honestly uh, at this point nothing should be taking that long no single thing so we don't really have enough money to get a lot of people in these tattooing departments because Little green trooper. I wonder what trooper he is. Oh, that's cool. We used all of our money to make sure we got in under the wire to get our snowy boba. That looks like Lando's back, giving us more trouble. If you guys watched my uh, the marathon I did last night, you'll see that Lando is quite the character. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, yeah! Bonk! Got him. Alright. Good, I already building up our green dollars again. I'm gonna go back to using them very sparingly. Very, very sparingly. As you normally would. Do some elevator turns and see how we do. Um, what was I saying on my marathon? One of the things I want to do is I want to organize all these into types or tiers. I might organize them by type and then tier so you guys can see a little bit more functionally how the game works. It's Snowy Boba! Yay! That's cool. He's gonna be a, a regular now. In his little snow outfit. He wants to go to the spa, but we don't have a spa yet. So he's gonna get some Nemoidian Chow. Hang out with the snow trooper and the regular trooper. That's cool. That was totally worth it. I hope they do more events like that. Ow! I hope they do more events like that. Because I will have a nice, strong tower by the time... Big Cooper fish. By the time they have another event. It's normal, Boba. He must have taken his suit off and put his other suit on, and he wants to play some chess. There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, I really couldn't. Uh, I guess I probably brought this up a couple times already. I really couldn't have gotten my tower done how much faster in the time I decided and started on the channel it was only about a week or so before I started this up I had to figure it all out it took it took several days just to figure it out and then I had to figure out how I was going to record it and um, probably could have played it a little more but we just had by we I mean you and I had really bad luck starting out. Sometimes you start out and you have great luck, 
sometimes you start out and you have terrible luck. And we just had a bad luck starting out, unfortunately. So I'm really proud of what we were able to do. Uh, 21 levels in about 10-ish days or 10, 15 days is pretty good. Not sure exactly how many days it was. I think that's about right, though. Do, 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 do. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any to remind everybody this game is free if you have a tablet or smartphone. It doesn't matter if it's uh, Android or Apple or Windows. You can get it for all three, so there's no reason you can't play it along with me. It's a very fun little game. It's very, very relaxing. I played it for over an hour last night, doing my little marathon thing, and um, enjoyed it the whole time. No... No regrets at all. I could have played it for another hour. It's, just, it's really fun. He wants to go to Watto's Wares and buy some parts for his little starship. He's got... I wish I could see... Again, this is why I want to get like the starship slash starfighter encyclopedia for Star Wars because... Some of the starships, because that's what I'll call them, if it's bigger than a starfighter and can go to warp drive... Oh, oh! now Lando wants me to cart him around, you brat. So you're not a spy now, now you're just... Where does he want to go? Lando came here to watch a movie? Lando came here to watch a movie. Oh, we got a spy. Oh, Karoth. Oh, man. There's a lot of people here. Okay, um... As I was saying, anything that has its own hyperdrive. I call it, I'm calling those, uh... Starships. There he is. Bing! So, but some of those, like, my excess, ouch, my excess freighter, for example, on Lancer, <coughs> that's a starship size, it's actually a, a freighter ship, but it's decked out to the teeth uh, with um, armor, lasers, torpedoes. So, I, I don't really know what to call it. Three hours off any construction, that's cool. So we're going to save him. We won't have any money to get another level for quite a while. But he will come in really handy if we want to do a couple more videos. Like on a Saturday or something. But like, Boba's ship, that's a... That's a starship. It has its own hyperdrive. But that thing is just decked out with ordnance, you know. And so the reason why I was wondering about the encyclopedia is I was really wondering how big the inside of his ship is. I'm wondering if it's just big enough to have a hyperdrive. It doesn't show you the inside of it. I think except for maybe one episode of Clone Wars. Except it was not his at the time. I think some other... Crap, how did that go? I can't remember how that went. But, um... Some bo other bounty hunters had it or something. I don't know the story behind him having that. I guess that's maybe one of the things we'll find out in Star Wars Rebels. Although, again, ironically, it's called Star Wars Rebels, but... <laughs> the 
<laughs> Rebels get stomped through that whole entire thing. Um, they get stomped before they get formed, they get formed, and then they get stomped again. That's going to be a lot more interesting if they use it to fill in all the backstory, like how does Boba get that ship, for example. I guess I should just have Wikipedia up and just pull all this up as I talk about it. But that wouldn't be very fair. But, um... I always wanted to know that. Like, how big... What's it called? The Slave One? I always want to know how big the inside of that is. Because Bounty Hunters and TOR... Get... Uh... More spoilers. If you haven't figured it out by now, and I say it right on my front page intro video thingy, there's going to be a lot of spoilers. Anyway, TOR Bounty Hunter is actually flying a freighter, <laughs> too. It's just a different freighter than the XS. It's a very cool ship, and it looks very bounty hunter y. But. It doesn't give you a good idea as to what a bounty hunter would fly if they could choose to. They need something with a holding cell, and I know the slave one has a little holding cell, I think. But I always wonder what they would fly if they could. Like the um like the troopers ship in T O R is very appropriate. Uh, I don't think the Jedi one's appropriate at all. They get a Republic ship um, that's honestly more of a fighter. More, it actually, to be perfectly honest, looks like a little battleship. Um, a very tiny, tiny battleship. The Consular one, which is, again, it's the same, the Jedi and the Consulars are the same. I never liked that because I would imagine the Consulars being in a lot more tranquil, peaceful, diplomatic looking ship than the same battleship the Jedi is flying around in. Now if the Jedi is leaning more towards the whole being a general, since you do get a trooper, um, and so does the Sith Warrior, actually they both get troopers. Um, then I could see that for the Jedi Knight, but I don't see that for the Consular, or the Sith, Sor Sith Sorcerer either. Um, the Sith Sor- or the Sith Warrior ship is very, very, very appropriate. Makes absolutely no sense to have it on the Sith Sorcerer. I don't know what kind of ship a Sith Sorcerer would have, you know, I actually more so imagine them having to stow away all the time and being pissed off, <laughs> stowing away in a cargo compartment. Who's that back there? I don't know. <laughs> that's, the, that's, a, that's a Sith Sorcerer. They're stowing away on our ship. O okay. That seems kind of... I don't know. They would have lots of little, lots of little torture booths and chains and whips. I don't know. I don't know. Who am I missing? I was going to say the, uh, the operative the operative ship is perfect. Uh, it would stick out like a sore thumb though. I mean, if you're trying to be incognito like according to the RP story the operatives are supposed to be incognito. Driving around a huge-looking stealth uh, spaceship. Um, yeah. I would imagine them flying around in a clunker, stowing away half the time, too. Hypership, starship, starship. That's right. Not spaceship, starship. Okay. Oh, well, I guess that's my rambling for her. the day. I 
And I was, I guess, one last thing. I was staring at, staring at the half-built or two-thirds built Death Star, and I was asking myself why they tried to build the Death Star again. Why they thought the Death Star was such a damn good idea that they decided to try to build a second one. Or were they already building a second one? I bet you they were already trying to build a second one. I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows. Because there wasn't that much time, I'm sure they couldn't have built two-thirds of another Death Star that fast. Oh, the little Death Ray operator wants to go somewhere. Do, 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 do. He wants to... He's hungry too. He's gonna get some Athorian food. Oh, yep. He, see, he's there with his buddy. He goes, hello, friend. Hello, guy. Hello, buddy. Okay. Make sure everything is going as much as it's gonna go. And I think... See, I think the Pet Emporium is low tier. We'll wait for it anyway. Yep, everything's going. Just fine. We didn't get a single new tenant. But we're making little green dollars if we don't get any... We don't have any money to get anything anyway. And we don't need any employees anyway. That's why we do this the way we do. Not making a ton of money, but we'll we'll get there depending on which oops depending on which bitizens it gives us. If we get another yellow bitizen, we'll end up with a yellow. I thought we had a blue guy that was had the wrong job. Yeah. So we need another purple guy. Oh. Okay. Why is everybody freaking out about? Everyone froze when Lando Krill. Yeah, right. Boba Fett is so much shorter than I thought. No, he's not that short. My neighbor won't stop blasting chip tunes. Oh, I'm sorry. Waiting for shipments. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. The authorian food is fully lo uh, right on. Let's go hot water. I need to take a shower. <laughs> I'm sorry. The scientists have uh, discovered subpixels. Mind boggling. Yeah, that's funny. Overstocked at the hollow chest hall. Yay. Rocket boots. Authorian food. Finishing stocking. Let's turn on the, ju the juice and see what she. Hard to believe someone built this Death Star pixel by pixel. I know. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah, it seems like the workout center is never closed. That's because it's low tier and I can keep it stocked. Cool. That's what they all have to say. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Alright, that was the last place that I needed to stock an order at. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Oh. Why is Leah walking around my ship? There she is. She had to go buy a hyperdrive. Oh, cool. I got Leah. Alright. Hey. Ah, oh, dang it. Nobody moved in. Nobody moved in. And like I said, this has happened on my phone. I have three empty uh, floors. Residential floors because nobody will move in. But then sometimes a bunch will move in in a row. So anyway, I'm going to shut this one off. And thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.